Right, this is quite interesting. Um, so, <laughs> I was just testing it out. I've replaced my, I had a blown IGBT in the center and replaced it, that's the other one. There's a video about the insides of that. And so I replaced it and I thought, so I have a little test motor, which is there, which I use just to test out the sequencing at low power. But I thought I'll actually test out the uh, motor. So this is a 3 amp, 36 watt power pack. Right, now I know from experience, driving that Tesla Model S motor, that it really needed something like 200 watts before it would even rotate. I couldn't even get it to rotate. Okay, this is 36 watts. Right, and we're driving an AC induction motor. Okay, and it has a differential. <laughs> and as you can see, uh, where is it? You can see through. And there you go, it's turning. So this is turning on 36 watts. 36 watts. No, it's not going to push a car, obviously. Right. <clears throat> this is probably at least a 200 kilowatt motor, and I'm actually getting it to rotate using 36 watts. Now that's pretty amazing. It's a little bit more actually because it's nearly it's nearly four amps drawn, right? And the actual voltage at the terminals is something like eight volts. So four eights are 32. The power pack itself is a 36 watt, so we're getting some drop through here and these wires are getting warm and stuff. But that's pretty amazing that I'm actually getting this motor to run on this little 12 volt power pack. <laughs> yes. So it's a credit to the efficiency actually, these guys are beginning. No, oh, no, they're not warm. No, they're cold. But then they're not really passing that much, you see, because um, the voltage probably I think the voltage across the IGBT is proportional I don't know if it's fixed or if it's proportional to the um, the the actual uh, uh, voltage across the terminals I think it's actually supposed to be fixed but then we're only passing 36 watts so if these are dropping these are dropping say 2 volts each so that means that if say it's 12 volts and we've got two IGBTs there dropping two volts each that means we actually have eight volts on the motor I think it's not that but we'll see right which means these guys are dropping a quarter of that power supply each okay the, at the maximum if they're dropping two volts across each one that's four volts right so they're dropping four volts at four amps which is 16 watts that's obviously very little you know what I mean that's not an awful lot but when I actually get the voltage up, I actually did, just for a moment, I actually had it working on the uh, the full 320 volts, but then it blew, one of the IGBTs blew, I might have overheated it, I don't know. Um, so, we will see. But I think I need to make these into PCBs now. We have it working, the motor's running, and that's good, and we've got a test set up now, which can run, obviously, at high voltage. I mean, I'm presuming it's the same voltage as the... Uh, the other one um, but it's quarter past eight on a bank holiday Friday now so I'm gonna leave it there but that's quite amazing that it's actually working on that I'm quite quite amazed that it works on such a low amount of power 